¿qué tal? Salud, salud. Mm. Hello everyone, welcome to our home in Lancaster Gate here in London. As you might know, we're making some videos to support our favorite producers and suppliers for you to be able to make really, really, really simple Mexican food at home, but also to get these incredible ingredients. So today we got a amazing aged sea bass from the sea to sea. Our friend Leandro Carreira has been aging this and we're going to be making ceviche tostadas with this. And for this we will need some onions, beetroots, a scotch bonnet, sesame, a little bit of chipotle chili, pine nuts, kombucha, oregano, corn husks, and basically that's it. So first of all, we're gonna clean our fish. You can get your fillets already clean. And just, we're just gonna make some dices. And it's already clean. Now we're going to make some dices, separating the core of the sea bass like that for the raw fish. We want as much white part as we can, like this, okay? So now we're gonna dice it. It's really important that you don't touch the fish uh, so much with your hands, okay? It's always with the knife, you know? Just let the knife do the work. I like to showcase the quality of the fish with the, in the ceviche, so that's why the dices that we do are not too small, so you can feel the texture of the fish. Okay, and now we're gonna make a little sauce of uh, pine nuts and beetroots that is going to be basically the base of our tostada it's inspired a little bit in the pink mold so pine nuts okay just slightly toasted just a tiny bit we're not gonna make a lot we're gonna start milling we're going to add some garlic so this one it's uh, basically a garlic that i uh, roast really, really, really gently in the pan. We're going to add some um, beetroots. So what we did is to cook basically a whole beetroot, 190 degrees, one hour, or at least nice and tender inside. Right, so what we're going to do is go, we're going to peel this one. We're going to use half for the tostadas and then half really rough things like that so this goes in the molcajete look at this now we're gonna add some of this chipotle and we're gonna add just a tiny bit of water that's it so just gonna Mix it really, really nicely. And it's going to be a beautiful paste. Put some salt on. Let's see. Mm, perfect. So now what we're going to do, uh, we're going to make something a little bit unusual. That is to smoke this, uh, <laughs> this other beetroot. So we have here a little rib cutter. Then tin foil, put it in here. Close the edges, take a pan, put this in there, put the beetroot in there with a tiny bit of really good quality rapeseed oil. We have some uh, corn husks, we're gonna take some scissors and just chop some in there. Oh, we're just gonna light this up like this, just wait until it's burning, there you go. And when it's like that, careful and put it on. Right, so now we're going to make a little vinaigrette. So onions, some raw beetroot, obviously without the peel. Some dices, like that. With the onion, habanero, chili or scotch bonnet.
we're going to add some sesame seeds and some kombucha or you can use lime juice and to finish this really 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 high quality rapeseed oil now we're going to take out our beetroot and make some spices as well it smells like a juicy baked smoky beetroot with the flavor of the corn right so from the fridge i had some tortillas from yesterday and basically what we're going to do is we're going to fry them just medium heat put a little plate with a towel underneath I have some tortillas that they've been uh, also drying uh, for some time in the pan so we're gonna use that once as well I don't like to leave the fish in the marinade for a long time so what I'm going to do is to make that fast so the fish over here in dices and our marinade with our small beetroots so we're gonna put salt in the fish and we're gonna add our marinade it's important to make this uh, at the very last minute, okay? Perfect, so now we're ready to plate. We have our tostadas, we have our pink mole. Just go like this. Time for our fish. Now we're gonna add our smoked beetroot. Some fresh oregano. So ready to plate. So there you go. H Sibas tostadas with beetroots and pink mole. Super simple to make at home. Eduardo? Hello. Is it tostadas car? Our expert is going to give us a verdict, but first. We're going to have some mezcal, mezcalito. Oh, sí. Uy. Says mamón, indeed. Salud. And I see you in the next time. Okay, I hopefully you can do this. It's really good. Right? <laughs> Cheers.